here at our Earth Sign Collective readings for this evening or whenever this reading comes across your feed or whenever you watch it. Timeless, of course. So let's get into the messages for the Taurus, the Capricorn, and the Virgos. All right, you guys are last this time, but who knows? Maybe it's the last will be the best. <laughs> All right. So we're using the Change Tarot to uh, channel your messages to the Parliamentary today. Let's check your current energetics in regards to love and romance, what's headed towards you. In regards to the matters of the heart, or perhaps who's wanting to communicate with you, connect with you on a romantic level. Right? So, whether single or in a relationship, you'll know whether the messages resonate or fit for you or not. Let's jump right into it. Without further ado, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel so we continue to grow. We're crossing our 4,000 subscriber mark. I think hardworking earth signs would like to know about that sort of thing, right? Putting in that hard work to obtain victories and abundance. Um, accolades that sort of thing sometimes it's good to participate in earthly things you just have to watch for over uh, indulgence right all right messages please and thank you spirit team my messages of love and light for our earth sign collective what does our earth sign collective watchers need to know today get in one more shuffle before we get started and let's see what the cardomancy has to say about you and your person, what's the direction of this connection? Grounding the reading. The Ten of Pentacles, Earth Signs, Massive Abundance, right? Mm -hmm. Extreme comfort and breaking of generational cycles, right? Multiple business offers or multiple business investments. Again, the Happy Family card. Mm -hmm. So that's what we have grounding your energy today. Not bad, not bad. Attracting abundance, attracting success and wealth. Mm -hmm. The king of wands. Maybe someone's a creator here, content creator, some sort of a leader or strategist. Mm -hmm. A naturalist, a shaman. Mm -hmm. An adventurer. This could be like an actor, someone very expressive, or this could be indicative of patreon like having multiple subscribers or followers or whatever the case may be patreon content or um uh only fans content whatever it is right whatever you're doing creatively actively at this time as a craftsman or a craftswoman magician energy basically the laws of attraction appearing very beautiful to attract abundance they have six of pentacles so this is a salesman here that's headed towards you so when people see as being very valuable or they put out great product that they don't mind partaking in multiple times. Again, this could be a content creator or something like that with um, similar to uh, what I just saw in the earth sign reading. Someone that puts out content and people reciprocate or they uh, donate or they, um, they basically pay for what they get. But no, this person that's coming towards you is a very um, balanced person, a fair person wanting uh, reciprocation with you. Wanting to support you, basically. The sun card, yeah. Wanting to provide you with joy. Now, this person could be very happy, extremely creative. They very uh, have a strong um, solar plexus chakra, so uh, they lean towards more in the future. An active planner or strategist. Like I said, a leader. Could be some sort of an industry leader or some sort of an innovator. The sun card uh, indicates uh, extreme amounts of joy and illumination, possibly even enlightenment as well childlike energy as well mm -hmm. so maybe someone wants to go half and half on a child with you <laughs> and look what we have the happy family card the twin flame 11 11 card right butt cheek one butt cheek two best friends soulmates twin flames right a sharing of uh, a divine union basically right you can see it here in the background mm -hmm. the same imagery you would see on the ten of pentacles some people having success, a victory, or just a, it's a celebration. Again, if this is a salesman, this could also be a storefront as well. Mm -hmm. Maybe entrepreneur out of the home, uh, entrepreneurship out of the home. But, uh, remember, oh, wow. Twin flames, this is your person. One of my indications of a twin flame relationship, the sun and the moon chasing each other throughout um the sky for all eternity right usually they get a chance to come together pause during an eclipse in which we're in libra eclipse season mm -hmm. 
But the moon sign, which is masculine, I'm sorry, feminine, masculine, feminine energy, divine masculine, divine feminine energy. Right? The moon represents our emotions, our fears, illusions, right? Hidden energy, right? Dreams, that type of stuff. It's Piscean and Cancerian energy. So someone here is very intuitive as well. You may have a psychic connection with this person, or you're developing a psychic or close emotional connection with this individual, right? Again, they're separated. <laughs> Just like this dog, these two dogs are separated, so separated over this body of water. <laughs> And they howl to each other. They're communicating with each other. So they're using their clairvoyant artistic gifts, right? Their creative potential as divine masculine and divine feminine to communicate with each other. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like it. The channel messages are coming in so easy. The Knight of Pentacles, yep. They're wanting to bring in this slow-moving offer of engagement. Mm -hmm. Clarifying the King of Wands. Yeah. The four of pentacles clarifies the six of pentacles. A lot of pentacles, a lot of success, comfort, and abundance here. Mm -hmm. The four of pentacles will be holding back financially, being cheap or frugal or whatever the case may be. I call it reinvesting itself. Yep. As a matter of fact, we add the four of pentacles and the six of pentacles because they're in the same suit as the ten of pentacles twice. This is like you guys can't escape abundance and comfort. <laughs> I mean, that's what happens when two people that actually love each other and is not bickering and fighting over just random things, able to grow that business or that home life together, right? Yeah. It's a kingdom inheritance, basically. Yeah. As you guys unite as the sun and the moon. Right? The ace of cups. Yep, new love. Clarifying the sun card. This, this person sees you as wish fulfillment, basically. Mm-hmm. They're wanting to offer you this cup of love, the Holy Grail. And again, um, intuitive gifts could be uh, igniting. Mm -hmm. yeah. Clairvoyance or being able to read each other's minds or really reading each other's emotions. Yeah. Someone here could be a painter as well. Page of Cups. Muse activity. This person is crushing on you. Again, it seems like they want a child with you. I don't really sense an apology, but yeah, love and marriage, the four of wands, and then this this young child here, this, you know, when people say, I dreamed about uh, fishes, someone must be pregnant, but the page is a new budding love connection as well, or just very young love, youthful love, no matter what the age is. I'm going to clarify this, the moon card. The tower card. Double water sign major arcana here. So you may want to watch the water sign readings as well. It was a fantastic reading. We have the tower and the moon receiving downloads at the night at uh, at the night time. We're just receiving downloads and hidden messages from the universe. Right? The tower card comes in to get your attention, just like the judgment, but it's forcing a change, right? Mm -hmm. It's forcing a transformation. This person may find themselves instantly attracted to you. Is an instant love connection. Scorpio uh, house as well, eighth house energy, so a very powerful energy here. Mm -hmm. The Queen of Wands. Ooh, this is some strong sex mm -hmm. with the Tower card. It's climactic sex. The Queen of Wands and the King of Wands counterparts here. Mm -hmm. Yep. Then we saw the counterparts for water sign show up in the king and queen of pentacles here in the earth sign reading. We're seeing you guys united as the queen and king of wands. Again, very uh, highly magnetic, very magical, very creative even. Mm -hmm. Yep. Two leaders coming together. Let's go ahead and clarify the four of pentacles and the six of pentacles, the five of pentacles. Left out in the cold, physical displacement, uh, maybe a change up in one's finances, health, or comfort. Rolling Stone energy. But what I'm getting is this person's, it's almost like Eight of Cups energy. This person is leaving behind something, right? Who, who says they got kicked out? Maybe they just left. That's what happened to me. I left in the middle of the night to never be seen again. I don't need an apology. I don't need any of that, right? To become the rightful king or the emperor, taking con the control and accountability of my own life, right? As an example, right, telling you a little bit of my own testimony. So, yeah, this is, seems like uh, going from a, a one home to another home. 
but this is two people dedicated to each other, thick and thin. Mm -hmm. You guys may be eloping. Ooh, channel message. Let's clarify what's at the middle of the spread. This Ace of Cups, Wish Fulfillment, and the Sun card, Ultimate Happiness and Joy, Childlike Wonder. The Eight of Wands. Oh, this person is super. There's a lot of sexual energy showing up in here. I mean, you guys are coming off as the King and Queen of Wands. And you guys are, this is my stewing stuff, right? Repetitive action. So I'm not sure if you guys are like, excess, you guys are into exercise or into travel, which this is an indication that this person wanted to travel or communicate with you, or just to send a bunch of messages your way. I do see clairvoyant, psychic, and intuitive, empathic gifts, so they could be sending you psychic messages as well. But yeah, sex is here. Maybe this person wants to create something with you. <laughs> Some sort of a passion project. The Page of Cups and the, uh, yeah, you guys are going to be creating, oh my God, don't, don't do prawn together. Don't, don't, don't do OnlyFans videos together, right? But hey, there are some, there are some divine couples out there that's out there showing people how to not have toxic sex, <laughs> right? The Three of Cups, clarifying the Page of Cups. Yeah, this person wants you. They want to communicate with you. They want to reveal their feelings. If uh, they haven't told you that they're crushing on you, yeah, this could be them initiating um, their feelings and telling you how they feel about you, right? They wanting to spend more time with you, celebrate with you, gather gather with you. Two celebration cards, the Four of Wands and the Three of uh, Cups. Yeah. This person, say for instance, uh, they want to create a friend. You know how when people uh, leave their, their families for the first time, uh, when they turn 18, they leave their parents' house. And then at that point, they develop their own friends and their own family. Yeah, this is what this person wants with you. So again, they had to leave behind what they were comfortable with, right? Mm -hmm. In order to come into this union with you, right? You have to do something that you've never done before in order to obtain things that you've never obtained. So if you want true love, you have to have hope and open heart. You can't be blocked off or you can't be nervous. You can't be focused on what the last person did to you, right? Let's clarify the last card in this reading for the Earth Sign Collective, Tower and the Moon card. A lot of strong empathy and sympathy, intuition. Yeah, a two of swords, block communication or indecision. Yeah, you got to make that decision. You got to take that leap of faith and go. Now, this could be a misunderstanding mm -hmm. or somebody just not um, being honest with themselves, possibly. What I'm also getting as well, since there's a lot of intuition here, this person doesn't need eyes to see, reminiscent of my favorite tarot deck, the Light Seers deck, when we, the Light Seers deck, when we look at the High Priestess, right? Because she's never chained or anything she can literally just drop the swords and lift the blindfold off her head or use one of those swords and cut off the blindfold so the truth is there you just have to access it right mm -hmm. yeah but again this person has clairvoyant gifts possibly uh they're a seer or a prophet precognition mm -hmm, in their dreams or whatever the case may be let's take a look at the hidden energy in this connection for our earth signs so successful yeah yeah, this person, I, this is what I be telling people. <laughs> you, I'm psychic. I know something you don't know. <laughs> Have hidden um, hidden knowledge, right? This would be indicative of sneaky behavior, though, under the cover of night. I would say treachery and deceit. It could also be a plan or a strategy as well, right? Just not revealing your whole hand. You don't have to tell everyone your own business, especially in the guise of a relationship. You don't want to tell people how much money's in your bank account or who you're dating and all this type of stuff. That type of stuff should be kept private. Page of Pentacles, a small offer or a token of appreciation. Mm -hmm. Someone wants to bring you a gift. Yeah, it's basically coming off 10 of Pentacles, 7 of Swords, and then the uh, Page of Pentacles. Yeah. This person wants to bring you a gift or something like that. Yeah, um, they may see, they may feel like they have to fight to get towards you. Mm -hmm. They could see competition around you. But it looks like they have something that the competition does not have. The right type of uh, offer. Yeah, I'm getting the right type of lover for me. I don't know if I'm too young to know which chick sung that song. And yeah, they're coming in. They see you with wish fulfillment. They're already satiated. They're already successful. They already feel happy and elated. They want to share this with you, though. Mm -hmm. And the Ten of Wands, yeah, moving in with each other. Mm -hmm. A lot of sexual, man, you guys are going to be <laughs> like rabbits. Jesus Christ. 
the Seven of Cups, indicative of the options, right? Again, clairvoyant uh, talents and abilities is gift and gifts. Mm -hmm. This person needs to make the right decision, which I think they see you as the right decision, right? They, they've been planning and researching and taking action, right? Possibly spying on you or investigating you somehow. Mm -hmm. And two seven, seven of cups and the seven of swords. We even have the wheel of fortune, the king of pentacles. I'm not going to keep going. But yeah, very, very positive energy for two, uh, for two readings done back to back. Let's see the high court. I'm sorry, the major arcana to show up in this reading. Not a whole lot, not a whole lot, but they speak volumes here in regards to an instant connection, the tower between the sun and the moon, the twin flames, the divine masculine and divine feminine. You have an internal, eternal connection. Mm -hmm. Yeah. High court cards. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you guys may have children. This person may want to produce children with you. Mm -hmm. The Page of Pentacles, a student, a budding entrepreneur or a budding intuitive, young singer or dancer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, looks like you guys may be passing your gifts down to your children, whether it's the gifts of sales or whether it's some sort of a clairvoyant gift or talent. Mm -hmm. The Knight of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands. Yeah, this person... <laughs> They see the type of person you are, and they will not bring anything, uh, bring anything to you that's black luster. Wait a second. Uh, the King and Queen of Wands, yeah, as divine counterparts. Mm -hmm. Twin flames. The Ace of Cups and the Four of Wands. Yeah. This is you guys connecting on a higher level, grounding it to the uh, 3D reality. Mm -hmm. I like it. Very powerful energy. Um, so those are the high court cards, the king and queen of wands that you guys are showing up as very powerful, very attractive individuals, two leaders, nine of pentacles, mm -hmm. foreseeing a, uh, an offer being presented, the ace of cup, uh, the ace of cups, which is the love. This is, it's new love basically. So I'm not sure if this is an old per an older person, um, but new love regardless. So yeah, new love experience. Um, the minor arcana, we had two of swords, block decision, I'm sorry, um, block communication. Not sure if there's a blockage somewhere in you guys' uh, communication methods, possibly online or something like that, or whatever the case may be. But I think it's time for someone to make a decision in which the tower card is going to force a decision to be made. All right. hmm. You're talking about you don't have this type of type, you don't um, like this type of person or you don't like that type of person and, and the universe is like, oh yeah, <laughs> let me show you, right? Don't never say never. <laughs> yep. So we go from the two to the three. Now all of a sudden they didn't like you. Now they like you. <laughs> Wanting to share with you, right? Again, never judge a book by its cover because you don't know what the story is. The four of wands. So they go from liking you and wanting to spend time with you to wanting to live with you, move in with you, have a family life with you. <laughs> To the five. Oh, wait, there's another four. Two fours, yeah. They really want to invest into a home life or a secure spiritual connection with them. This is like the union, and this is putting the padlock on that union, them covering you, holding on tight to this. Mm -hmm. Five of Pentacles to the six of Pentacles. So if there was any type of hardship or if there was any change up in comfort, it's only going to get better. Mm -hmm. They wanting to reciprocate with you. Have equal give and take with, with you, provide for you. Mm -hmm. Balance. Eight of Wands. Mm -hmm. Wanting to be with you in all the right ways, basically. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Brewing and manifesting this close connection, this close encounter. The Nine of Cups is here. So we go from the Eight of Wands to the Nine of Cups and the Ten of Wands. They have strong passions towards you been very rom romantically taken with you, smitten with you. All right, so break that message for our, our Earth Sign Collectives as we close out the reading. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the reading. Hold on, hold on, we're not done yet. Yep, the Empress showing up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Who, doesn't, who, who doesn't want an Empress, Taurus, and Libra energy? Venusian, 
beautiful, very luxurious, They're able to attract abundance, right? As a king and queen of wands. Yeah. Motherhood or childhood, someone who is ready to be a mother or a father. Very divine connection here. Calling your soulmate type energy. Mm -hmm. May I have a jumper, please? And thank you, spirit team. What's the direction of this connection? What's the positive love messages? Yeah, we just passed 2022 on the timer. So again, this is your person. Divine coming in, uh, collaborating with divine masculine energy. Peace, balance, synergy. Mm -hmm. Union. All right. Any jumpers? No, no jumpers. Seems very sure about this uh, reading. Oh, there we go. Knight of Swords. They want to communicate with you, come towards you, and deliver a message. Obviously, a message of love or how they're feeling about this connection. Again, this could be planning, Knight of Swords, uh, and Seven of Swords type of energy. All right. Yeah, the Queen of Wands and the Two of Swords. Yeah, the Queen of Wands is a clairvoyant as well. Very psychic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, I'm getting... It's a Neo song, right? Uh, a person knows, well, I guess I can talk about Hollywood with Jay-Z and Beyonce, how she's like, I know what you're thinking because I see how you're watching me, basically. You think you're hiding, you know, you're hiding your facial expressions or you're hiding your emotions. Again, masculine or feminine, right? They can pick up on the cues because you guys are so, you guys are tied together, a soulmate connection, twin flames. Right. Let's get an additional rig deck message. The water sign reading did tend to go a little longer than this earth sign reading. Which only means that they're sure about this uh, connection with you. You see a lot of attraction and a lot of abundance. If this is going to be a huge family or a lot of success to be passed down that you guys are creating. All right, let's divide. The Tower card and Four of Pentacles. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A shocking moment, a transformation. The universe bringing you guys together in a shocking event, basically. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Again, when we turn the eight sideways, it's an infinity symbol. So it's breaking you guys from something and then bringing you guys together in an infinity symbol to create ultimate abundance and happiness. I'm not sure if you experienced some sort of a tragedy in the, in the past, but yeah. Looks like the universe is initiating some sort of a change, trying to give you comfort. Mm -hmm. Again, it could be saving at this time or whatever the case may be. Mm -hmm. So that's what I have for you guys. Um, <laughs> close encounters of the twin flame kind basically is what the last channel message is, is you guys coming in contact with a whole lot of passion, creativity, and sexual desires, magnetism. Yeah, I'm surprised the magician didn't show up, but yeah, huh, someone's still working uh, spell work or witchcraft. Doesn't really seem like in a negative way. Um, it's just taking action, right? King and Queen of Wands, the Eight of Wands is my brewing the pot card, and then the Tower card indicating magic, Medea, the goddess of illusion, right? Mm -hmm. How do you think Tyler Perry got so rich and famous? He used the name of an ancient goddess of magic and illusion, Medea. What is his character's name? Medea. <laughs> so he knows something. He's a little bit esoteric. That's what I say. You think the people that run the world don't believe? They tell you not to believe in it. And they give you certain books and certain rules and guidelines and tell you to follow these rules why they are using the real power to manifest what they want, right? They just put rules to keep you out of the way in a rat race. <laughs> but nonetheless, when you're... Um, Two minds are better than one, right? That sort of thing. Even if it's a message of self-love and you know your full power, your full, you know, you know how to move through a room and um, move through a room full of vultures, basically. But with your person, there, yeah, you guys can um, amplify that power, right? You amplify the love, you amplify the creativity, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Last channel song is Trey Song's Wonder Woman. Mm-hmm. So that's what I have for you guys this evening. We're finally done with the Zodiacs for this month, and then I can get back to doing collective messages for you guys. And, uh, yeah, hopefully this was uh, it resonated for you, or at least a mild form of entertainment for you guys this evening. Take advantage of the other readings on the channel. We have several 
um, Earth Sign playlist and uh, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo playlist as well. But I'll catch you guys on the next channel message. Peace.